It's not raining for the moment, so I'll get back on the sawmill again. Uh, got the Mighty Might bandsaw mill out. We got it going yesterday. We've got all these old spruce logs. They're well past their sell-by date. They've been laying here way too long, and they're, they're getting pretty punky and pretty rotten. And we put one on yesterday. Actually, I cut it into two logs yesterday, a 10-footer and an 8-footer. And we cut uh, the 10-footer up into two 6-by-6s and the 8-footer up into two 4x4s. What I need is I need 6x6s and 4x4s and then I need stickers for all the lumber that we got to cut. And this wood, uh, I was going to cut it up last fall and I didn't get to it, so other things came up. But like I said, it's just about past its use by date. It's been here too long and this spruce just, uh, it just doesn't hold up. It's all rotten. Well, I was able to get a couple pretty good timbers or some pretty good timbers out of that one yesterday. This one here is not going to be as good, but I got started on it. And it's kind of hit or miss. It's been pouring down rain here for the last few days. Uh, yesterday it lifted a little bit, looked like it was going to be okay. We got out here and worked for a few hours. And then uh, we got some, just some light drizzle and then pretty soon it was pouring down rain. Before you know it, we were soaking wet. So I called a day on that. Today it's Earlier it was pouring down rain, then it drizzled, then it poured down rain, and uh, a couple openings I got this log on there, and I got it slabbed off on three sides here. Well, anyway, it's not raining right now, so I'm going to go ahead and start it up here. i got a few more minutes before we take the dogs for their run. I'm going to uh, start the mill up, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that cant up into two-inch thick uh, slices, and I'll use those then and cut those into stickers and the stickers don't have to be very good some of those are going to fall apart but they don't have to be real great the ones that don't fall apart there's nothing structural all they're for is to provide an air gap between the rows of lumber when we stack them up so anyway i'll get to it That was pretty good. We actually got through all of that without it raining on us. Well, I'm happy. I got six. They're about 11 inches wide. I didn't even try to measure them. I was just cutting the rind off of them to get uh, through the worst of the rot. So that wound up 12 and a half inches, and it's by 11 inches. That board that I just tipped up there, 
is got a little bit of rot on the face of it, but it's uh, the next one would be pretty good. It's got some interesting green stain in it that would be a nice decorative thing for somebody that was into that kind of stuff, but I wouldn't use any of that for structural wood. Well, now I'll turn all those up on the edge, stack them up on the edge, and run through them three quarters of an inch at a time or an inch at a time and make stickers out of them. All right, I'm going to go put the camera away. I'm just afraid it's going to turn off and rain here again. It uh, does that pretty frequently, but that's the first of the sawmilling for the season this year. Well, we had a little disaster here. I made two cuts. The first one, so that stack was 11 inches deep, and so I made my first cut at 10 and three quarter, or 10 and a quarter. I didn't think I was going to get much out of that because that outer edge, that top edge, was pretty rotten. That was pretty obvious. It was rotten. I thought maybe I might get some, but I, I just knew I had to get rid of that and get that cleaned up. And that one was, that one's pretty bad. The second cut uh, made it uh, nine and a half, and it's still breaking apart there. I'm going to get some stickers out of that, some usable ones out of that, but uh, that area there where the green is on it, the discoloration in the wood that's so pretty, I thought that was sound, but it looks like it's falling apart right there. It's just breaking in half right there. There's no strength to it. Maybe when I get down a little deeper, it'll be fine, but I'm still going to get stickers out of that. So then the third cut is going to make at eight and three quarters, and I just started into the cut and the blade disintegrated on me. Well, my blades are getting pretty wore out. I've used them a lot and got a lot of use out of them. And I made all these cuts on this one, cutting the rind off, breaking that log down, and plus the two logs before that. Even though I pressure washed that and stuff, it's kind of through dirty wood, so that had a few cuts in it. I've sharpened these blades five or six times, so they're getting on the tired end of it. I look and check for any fractures in the gullets when I sharpen them, but you can't catch them all. So anyway, that blade's done for it, and I'll pull it out, and... I think I'm done for the day here now, although this is the best weather we've had in three or four days here, but I'll go ahead and pack everything up here in time to take the dogs out for their evening walk. Anyway, lots of fun. Hopefully we get down into that wood, it's going to be better, at, but that is, stuff's just falling apart right there where it comes through the green, and it felt like it was firm, but uh, there's no strength to it. Well, today is the first day in a while that it hasn't been just pouring down rain, Oh, well, I thought I'd go ahead and do some milling here. The last time we were out here milling, I had set that log up on there. It was a pretty crappy log. I was hoping maybe I'd get some stickers out of it. And I've got a few out of it, but it was we were making the last cut on it. It started into the last cut on it at eight and three quarters inches, the blade broke, so I quit. And then it's been pouring down rain ever since. Been working in the basement the last few days on the shaft for the edger blade for the mobile dimension sawmill, and I've got it finished it's all done except for powder coating it, which I'm going to go turn the oven on now to heat it up and then we'll get it done today too. That doesn't take very much to do that. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and mill up this and see if I can get anything usable out of it. And then we'll probably have to maybe put another log on there, find some other logs and stuff. So I'm going to need lots of stickers for what I've got to do. I've got to mill up a bunch of timbers for uh, yellow cedar timbers for a guy. And then, of course, I've got all of those logs up there that we've hauled out of the woods so far that have got to be milled up uh, for the warehouse build.
we got a stack of stickers out of that. There were six two inch wide uh, planks there, 11 inches deep. Anyway, I got 11 stickers out of each one of those boards. Well, that'd give me 66, plus I got a one by, or one and a quarter by two, because that mill will only cut down to one inch on the table. Well, the bottom is wasted, but they weren't very good anyway. They weren't worried enough to worry about. Some of those stickers aren't very good, but even the short ones that are broke off will make stickers. You can just double them up in the pile. So that's 66 stickers. Well, there was a couple of those that won't even make stickers at all. They were too rotten. So let's say 60 stickers, but those are 10 feet long. And I stack my piles up four foot deep, so these stickers will be cut in half, so that'll double them. Well, that gives me a pretty good number of stickers there. Anyway, like I said, they're not very good, but they'll be good, better for stickers than they would be to try to make lumber out of them, and they don't make firewood worth a damn, so that's spruce, so. Anyway, that's good, that's, that's one log cut up. Anyway, there's one stack of stickers just a pile of stickers right now. I'm gonna to have to go set up something to cut them in half and uh, put them someplace where we can get to them when we need them.